The Arduino connector is a project that allows you to use Arduinos or Arduino compatible boards as I.O. expansion for Linux CNC. The goal of this project is to enable you to easily build a CNC control panel or handheld MPG. Buttons, knobs, potentiometers, encoders, joysticks and matrix keyboards, RGB LEDs, PVM outputs and much more are supported by the software. They can easily be configured and in this video series I will show you how. Hi and welcome back. I'm Alex and this is the art of tinkering. I have now connected digital LEDs. Um, these are called VS2812. They are connected by three wires. Um, two of them are for power and one is for uh, the digital input. And this is connected to pin 4. In my build I use these LEDs, these are also digital ones, uh, they are called PL9823. Um, so they work basically the same, but there are a lot more um, work to solder up. For this to work you have to install the Adafruit NeoPixel library with the Arduino library manager. For the video I'm going to use this LED stripe here. And let's take a look at the software. So to activate it, we have to um, uncomment this line here. And um, also here are just some settings. Here you can set how many LEDs you um, have connected. Um, I will just leave it at eight, um, uh, in which uh, pin they are connected to. And here I'm connected to pin four, so I can just upload my sketch and um, as you can see, the LED, some of the LEDs um, have split up. So let's move over to the Python script. And here we have to activate the DLEDs uh, as well. So here you can see this line. Um, in the Python script, we only have to define one variable and we have to say how many DLEDs uh, we want to um, use. Okay, so I will save it and then uh, we go to the terminal and uh, we use the copy command to move the file now to the user bin directory again. So let's start Linux CNC. And now we can load our Arduino component. Okay, so and now here are the digital LEDs. And as you can see, um, the we have now eight output pins. And um, when I activate those, you can see the first two LEDs are lighting up. Okay, so um, now we can control it with Linux CNC. And watch what happens to the third, fourth and fifth LEDs. So um, when I turn them on, the color switches from red to green. And also here they switch from blue to green. So um, that is one of the uh, benefits of digital LEDs because we can easily define the color of each LED. And um, I will show you now how to um, configure it. So um, here on the Arduino firmware again, you see there are two um, arrays and they're called DLED on colors and DLED off colors. So the way this works is that um, each LED basically has a state. It's either on or off, but um, you can define a color for each state and that way you can um, can um, t uh, tell the LED if it should be off in the off state, or uh, and, and 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 have a color if it's turned on, or and um, that can be useful too uh, to switch color. For example, if it's in the off state, uh, you can have it be uh, uh, light up red, for example, and turn green uh, if it's turned on. And I use this, for example, in my machine. Okay, and um, so here you can see these are three values. Uh, for each 
LED, you have to define one bracket here. And these values stand for red, green, and blue. Um, but the, the order can, um, can be uh, different for each LED. So with uh, these LEDs, for example, the order is uh, different. But um, I think you can just uh, try it out. I mean, uh, there's uh, three um, values that you have to switch. And then you can see which, uh, which uh, color is which um, value. And um, here you can set a, a number between 0 and 255. And um, 255 is uh, the maximum um, brightness of this color. And 0 is off. Okay. So um, here you can see when the first LED, LED 0 is um, in the off state, it's turned off. And if it's on, it's 255. And you can see here, it's turned blue because, well, it's defined here, red and green are zero and blue is maximum brightness. So, and um, that way you can uh, define for each color, uh, for each uh, LED, you can define a color. Um, so um, let's have a test. For example, here I'm, I'm going to mix uh, a random num uh, random color. Don't really know what this is going to turn to, but um, it's not full brightness, uh, but I'm using a lot of red, a little bit of blue and green, and that will be probably something pinkish. I don't know. So let's flash the software. Okay, so now the software is flashed. And um, if you just want to test um, your configuration, there are um, two ways. So uh, the first one I showed you already, um, you can load it up in um, the Linux CNC, but you can also talk with the Arduino directly. So I'll show you here. And um, you can see we're getting the E0 command uh, again, and we just answer with the same command. And we get um, some data of input pins that are defined. But um, now we can also tell the Arduino to turn on LEDs. And the way this works with uh, digital, digital LEDs is um, the command D, and then the number of the LED. So for example, we just changed the color value for LED number th uh, three, or um, it's zero, one, two, so two. And then um, this colon, and then one is uh, high and zero is low. So if I send this, you can see the LED changed color, and it's it turned out to be a pretty white color. So or a little bit pink, I don't know. And to turn it off, we can do the same command, but with zero, and now the LED will turn red again. So in this way, uh, you can experiment very easily with each color. And um, so if you don't have exactly eight color, uh, eight um, LEDs, then we can, for example, change it to, you can basically use hundreds of LEDs, but uh, you have to define the color of each one. So here I'm doing 12. So um, the way we can now add those is simply, by adding adding more LEDs here. Um, and we can also like change the, let's make it, um, for example, turn off when, uh, when in the off state and turn red in the zero stage. But first I have to copy these values here again. So, now these should be 12. Yes. So, and now um, we want to edit this uh, LED. So it's this one. And um, let's turn it um, with this color, whatever this will be. Um, okay, now we can flash it. Okay, and you can see we have now this very pink LED. And um, 
let's turn it on. It should be eight. Okay, and now in the on state, it actually turns off just like we configured here. Okay, so this is actually quite easy. So let's change it here as well. Okay, as you can see, we have now new pins. Um, so for each um, LED, a digital output is generated. And if we um, change the value here, you can see the LEDs also change um, their state. So, but what is if we close down Linux CNC? As you can see, the LEDs, they stay with their um, current state. So, and the, the problem is that, that if we build a um, control panel with this, then it can seem as everything is working, but um, actually the connection is lost and the Arduino is uh, not receiving anything from Linux CNC anymore because it's closed. And to have an optical warning that something is wrong, there is uh, another function. Okay, so let's have a look at the Arduino software. There is this part here um, called status LED and it's uh, pre-configured to be enabled. And what this function is doing um, is that we can define an LED and that will give us um, a signal if the connection is established or it will blink if there's an issue. And actually you can see it uh, right here, the Arduino is blinking all the time. And that is uh, because it has no connection and it's, it's uh, waiting, a waiting connection. So um, now I can show you. Um, and that is actually why the Arduino is sending the E command all the time. It's uh, to detect if there's a connection and if I, uh, when I answer, you can see now it has gotten the information and it stays on. And now the Arduino basically, um, when the script is running in a certain time frame, it will send the E command again and again. That way the Arduino knows that the connection is established. And now you can see the uh, Arduino hasn't heard from uh, from us or from the script in some time. And now you can see it started to blink again. Okay, yeah, and when if, if the connection is established again, it will light up again and uh, yeah, be enabled constantly. And we can define this uh, by setting this pin here, pin 13, that's where the onboard LED is connected to, uh, but you can also define every other output pin that you want. Um, just want to make sure that it is not conflicting with any other pins that you maybe defined somewhere else. Um, but you can also, if you use digital LEDs like I did here, you can also set this um, uh, to one and that will enable the use of digital LEDs. And then this um, value is going to be um, used again, but now it defines the number of LED. So uh, digital LEDs work in series. So we can just count from zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So we can just um, define this to be uh, digital LED number five, for example. And now if we flash it, the fifth LED in the string will be used as, um, as a connection LED. And you can see it blinking now here. And um, if we establish the connection like this, you can see the LED is constantly on. And then if we wait again and um, don't send anything to the Arduino, then it will detect that there's no connection anymore. And then it will blink uh, a little bit faster to let us know that the connection has been lost. And now we can see that um, the control panel is out of use. Okay. Um, and actually to, to use it with Linux CNC, we don't have to modify the Python script at all because this is um, automatically using it. So if we load our um, Arduino component again, you 
you will see that the connection is um, established, um, the, uh, the component is loaded, uh, but now with the difference that um, as long as Linux CNC is running, this LED will be turned on. And when we close it, when we close Linux CNC, the connection is lost and the Arduino detects it um, pretty soon. Okay, that's uh, all about this.